So Cindy, what? what are we doing today? We are headed up north to Hamilton to buy some hatching eggs and they're Icelandic chickens. They come from Iceland. They're kind of a rare breed. I think they're getting more and more popular. They're supposed to be really good layers. This area really cold tolerant. We're going to see what happens. And how far is Hamilton from home? A long, long ways. <laughs> I don't know. 60 miles, 70 miles. Anything from Salmon is at least two hours away, no matter where you go. Yeah. So, 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 but it was the cheapest place and the closest place I could find hatching eggs versus buying them from eBay. And since this is my first go around, I didn't want to buy expensive eggs or, you know, these are like 20 bucks for a dozen, I believe the guy told me, as a dozen and a half. Um, so, it's best to get them close to home to start with before you really adventure and pay 50, 60 bucks for a dozen eggs or less for the specialty breeds. And even the common breeds, you're paying at least $20 a dozen plus maybe another 20 for shipping. So, we'll see how this works. And what about those black chickens you want? Um, I'm gonna see how well this hatches out. And I have found on eBay, a um, couple people that do have those, both the Indonesian ones and the ones that are from Sweden, that's a cousin to the Emma Cinnamons or whatever they call those crazy things. So if I can get this hatch to do well, I might look to see if I can find some that are a little less expensive, but they're very expensive eggs and, and the birds are even very expensive to buy too. So we'll wait and see. And the meat's black? The meat's black, the organs are black, um, the bones are black. It has something to do with some gene, and I don't remember what they call it. They do have a cousin to it. I think they bought the, these over in Switzerland, and this is the Swiss bread some too. And they're supposed to be a little bit more hardier, but they're still just as damn expensive. So. So, I don't know. We'll wait and see how well these hatch out, how well we do. I've had my brooder up and running for 24 hours. You run it to start with, get it all nice and warm, make sure your humidity is right, the temperature is right, and then Lily get back. And Lily likes to ride up front, by the way, and she doesn't have her lily pad in here. So I've got all that going, and then when we get home, if you ship them, it says to let them rest 24 hours, but since I'm going to pick them up and drive back with them, I don't necessarily know I need to do that. So what we'll do is we'll put them in the brooder and we'll hit the restart button and it just restarts the whole process. It takes 21 days more or less to hatch them out. So we'll see what happens in 21 days. Well, it's a pretty day for a drive anyway. It, uh starting to get a few raindrops on the windshield but mostly sunny it's got some big clouds but what the heck it's a nice drive but oh <laughs> you didn't tell me you did oh. set go okay um, we just got back from Hamilton it's about quarter nine in the evening we opened up our I had let our um, incubator run for at least 24 hours. The beeping sound is just telling me that the humidity and the temperature is starting to go up again. It was running right about 37 Celsius, which equals to about 98, and that's where they need to be at. My, um, this right here is the humidity. It's starting to climb where it needs to be. It's right around 48 to between 50 to 60 is pretty good. Um, as you can see, the eggs are in there. The pointy end of your egg needs to be down. The blunt end or the bigger end needs to be up. That's basically where your egg, where your um, air sac is. So now, um, hopefully this will stop beeping as soon as it heat, hit, hits the right humidity 
and the right temperature, but I took the lid off to put the eggs in. Mine has a reset button. It has um, a day button, and this is letting me know um, in an hour and 54 minutes it's going to turn the eggs. It has an automatic egg timer. Automatic, not egg timer, automatic turner in it, so it turns them a little bit every couple, every basically every two hours on it. So, so it's starting to heat up. It has to be about 37. Mine reads about 37.5 to 38, which Celsius, which makes it about 95 to 100 degrees. And it's right now at 50% humidity. Once in about seven days, more or less, we will candle them. And what we'll do is we'll take them out of there, each one, and look at them with, um, see it finally stopped because it hit the humidity and the right temperature. So what we'll do in about seven days, we will candle them and we'll take them out and put a, in the old days they actually used a candle. Modern days we'll just use a flashlight and we'll stick it under eat, underneath them to see which ones have veins, which ones are developing. As I said before, these are Icelandic. They come from Iceland originally. So it ought to be interesting to see what's going to happen. So here we go. The end.